see this, this is a book that every cartoonist or artist or character designer should own, at least in my opinion. drop something but this is supposed to be a dramatic ending but anyways this is the book cartoon animation by Preston Black and I think this is possibly one of the best books a cartoonist or a character designer or anyone can have I came across this book when I was a little kid a photocopied version of this book is what I got it had so old and it was photocopied and back then you cannot get this book easily here in India and and ever since then I really love this book why? Why is this book something that everyone should own? At least in my opinion. It's in my opinion. It's because of two things. One, it's very foundational for cartooning and character design. And two, it's super simple. Meaning, foundational. All the new styles that you see on, uh, you know, on these new TV shows and cartoons and you know, movies, right? Everything came out of this. Stuff like this. These old American cartoonists and animators, right? But by the way, this is a book for animation, but I'd say the cartoonists can you really use this book. Back in the day, right? All these old cartoonists and all these old animators sort of came up with a way to look at life and simplify life and put it in a version that is sort of easy to look at and easy to understand. And, and that's why, you know, animation generally appeals to kids because kids their brains are simple, they like to look at things and, and, and you know, process simple information at start. And as they grow on, they can process complex information. But these guys, if you look at it, right? These guys took life, took life and simplified it and, and exaggerated it and found a way to put it simple. And all of the new things that you see, these, these new Disney cartoons or you know, these Cartoon Network cartoons and everything, all these things sort of draw their roots from this old American style form of cartooning, right? This this very simplified, this very easy version. And, and over time, styles have developed and, and a bit more realism is being added, as you can see with, with all the Pixar animations that you see, the character designs of that. Slightly more sense of realism, but still maintaining that cartooning aesthetic. This, this right here, this is simplicity at, at its core and it's foundational. And if you just learn this, if you learn from the old masters, it's just these people, right? Preston Blair right here. I'm not very familiar with this word, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's one of those, those big, big time folks. I don't know who he is, but I've had this book for so long and I can always look at the work and say, hmm, a lot of modern things that exist out here, this is from this one right here. This book was back in the 19, when this came out, uh, come out. I think it was the 1960s or 70s. Yeah, so it's a good book for animators as well. Uh, and I love to learn motion and animation. I'm slowly getting into animation, so it's kind of helpful. But I really love to learn to draw characters the way it is drawn in these books. And from there, I can actually go and experience my own version of life and take that inspiration and put it. So I have this foundation from the old masters, then I put my own experience on top of that, then you have this new thing. That's how you, you know, form a style of sorts. So, that is why I really love this book. Everything from learning to draw animals to birds to trees to humans to you know heads, expressions, hands, everything is, is there in this book. And that is why I really love it. And it's so full of life and, and, and it's very simple to its core. And, and I think it's very foundational. And that's why I think every cartoonist slash character designer of the 20th century should own this book.